Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wingnut and Screwloose. This is probably one of the most fun looking sets that they've released. I was never a huge fan of these guys, but I do remember the toys as a kid, and I think NECA did a great job of bringing these guys to life in their new cartoon style. It's a, it's just a really fun looking set. They don't pose great, you can't do a lot with them, as is usually the case just due to the sculpts. But these guys look great, they come with some cool accessories and they're a whole lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands, we're going to go to the top of the head and the ears. About six to the top of the head, about six and three quarters to the top of the ears, give or take. That's going to make him close to 15 and a half and then 17 and a half centimeters, right around that. And then for the little guy, he's a lot smaller, he stands only, eh, let's say 10.75 centimeters, and that's gonna be about four and a quarter inches. And just in case you didn't get a good look while they were rotating around, that's the size comparison right there. All right, before we get into the rest of the review, let's do a quick question of the day. At this point, how into this cartoon line are you guys? Are you just gonna keep picking up everything they put out? Cause I'm to the point where I think I am. I think I'm into it all the way that they have just delved deep enough into the depths of the character selection that I wanna recreate the collection I had as a kid, but with NECA's new versions. That's where I'm at, let me know how you guys feel. Okay, so aesthetically speaking, as usual, we have the cartoon styling with the solid color blocks and then lots of black line work and it looks really good. It looks especially good I'm going to keep getting the names, but saying the wrong names back and forth. Uh, this one's screw loose. This one's wing nut, if memory serves. So screw loose looks especially good with the bright yellow, bright orange, bright green, and then the black line work, especially around the eyes and the mouth. Very, very clean. The neon green tail, the little arm thingies. He looks fantastic. This guy does too. It just stands out less because of his dark blue, but they did a really good job. The wings look fantastic. The little organic wings in there look fantastic. The face looks good. Everything looks really, really nice. All that detail work, love it. The only thing, I just said everything, but the only thing that's not included in that is the, the front two teeth, are the front two teeth. The way they did the fangs, they're sculpted in there, his little bat fangs, but they didn't put the black line work on there and it ends up making it look muddy and messy rather than a clean paint job. So uh, yeah, we needed a little bit of that black line work on the two fangs. I know it's very hard to see just because of the, the thick white paint, but that's what we need on there to make that look a little bit better. Otherwise, it looks exceptional. You can see the face details are super good. Really cool sculpts. Love, love the way they did this whole set, other than those two fangs. So I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 for the aesthetic. It looks phenomenal. As far as accessories go, we don't get any for the little guy. Not really, kind of. And, but for the big guy, we get two fist hands that come out in the package, uh, two trigger finger hands, and then two secondary or style pose hands. So he can hold the rifle in both hands, which he does come with a rifle, nicely detailed. That's pretty cool. We do get a little baggie of uh, some paper goods. We have some comics, and then we have some sticker sheet, or a sticker sheet, so that's pretty cool. And then lastly, we get the display stand. But I'm gonna talk about the display stand again like I did in the last time, in the last review I did with this display stand. It's not made correctly. I don't know if anybody else is mentioning this, but I really hope NECA's watching this because there's a problem. Well, first of all, it can't support the big guy at all. You might be able to if you tighten these screws down, but you're gonna risk breaking the acrylic, so be very careful. It works for the little guy just fine, but the claw, first of all, this is not a good claw design because it only opens on one side. It's asymmetrical, which means when it's on the stand, it's gonna be holding the guy off to a side. So it only opens on the one side. So that is not a great design to begin with. Time to rethink that. But the other problem is, as you can see here, it doesn't go straight. Because it's a hex hexagon, they did the hexagon the wrong way. It can be perfectly squared up top and bottom, but that's useless. But because of the shape of a hexagon, it can't go horizontal. It's either this or this. That's not okay, it should be able to go square, just completely horizontal. So they need to rework, just make a whole new clip. Leave the rest, that's fine, but make a whole new clip. This thing does not work well. Being offset, not being spring-loaded, although I don't mind that as much, but and not being able to go straight on, that's not good. So this display stand, while well, welcomed addition, a welcomed addition, it's not as good as it should be. It'll be enough for this guy, but just barely. Don't like the clip at all. Okay, so accessory wise, nine out of 10, that's still a good spread of accessories. Let's go ahead and just do the little guy first, I think. That'll be a good idea. So for the head, it's just a ball peg in there, big old ball peg. I think they probably could have buried it a lot shallower so that we have better range. 
because we don't have great range out of it. It's enough, but it didn't need to go that high up. It would have been fine much lower. It would have gotten better range, but of course this is going to be more than enough, so that's okay. Shoulders are all swivel hinges, so you can raise them up and down and then rotate them. Obviously it's a little bit of a different situation than most shoulders. It's pegged in at a little bit of a weird angle, but given his uh, anatomy, I think that'll be okay. You'll be fine. Uh, swivel hinges for the biceps as well. You get 90 degrees and your rotation. Then the hands have its standard swivel hinge as well and they can be swapped around from top to bottom so that's pretty cool for the wings basic little hinge on there and then they can rotate as well though not a ton well i guess you can but you might be putting a little bit too much stress on that little peg so be careful but they do work the tail rotates doesn't seem to do anything but rotate so that's okay though i think that's fine for the hips ball peg standard ball socket so pretty good range enough like he's not going to be doing any martial arts but it'll be okay and then for the knee, it's another swivel hinge. This guy's just full of swivel hinges. You get pretty good range out of it, about 90 degrees. And for the ankle, it's kind of a standard ankle. So that's cool. You're not gonna get a lot of range out of that at all. Just a tiny little bit and an ankle rocker. So you can get his feet flat on the ground, but that's about it. So pretty basic articulation for this guy, but it's fine. Uh, we're not gonna bother doing a separate rating for him. And now for this guy, let's see what we have going on here. The head. It's really good range. The neck is also on a ball peg, so ball pegs all over the place for the head. So he can look up and down really well. Very, very pleased with that. He can rotate side to side, he can lean. Really good range of articulation for that guy's neck. Shoulders, they get up to horizontal, so that is pretty good. You do get your rotation, but of course you do have the shoulder pads in the way, so you're not gonna get full rotation. The elbows are two swivel hinges. So they're actually two of this in the same direction. So we have a swivel at the top of the elbow and a hinge there. And then we get another swivel going into the elbow from the forearm and another hinge there. So with both of those combined, kind of like Captain Planet, you get decent enough range. It's kind of chunky and cumbersome, but you can't really see it because of the sculpt. And that's okay. And since there's no bicep swivel, both of those allow him to rotate around just fine. That gives him technically a bicep swivel and a forearm swivel. So I like that. Wrists to have a swivel and then, of course, a hinge. They tend to pop out a little bit more easily than I would like, but you should be okay. Now, his man tatties do have a ball peg. I think a single, it could be a double, I can't quite tell, but I'm mostly just getting rotation out of it. Maybe with a hair dryer, you, oh, there we go. So you can, with a little bit of force, you can get pretty good range side to side on that. I don't know about forward and back, let's see. Oh, okay, so a little bit. Not a ton, so maybe with a hairdryer you can get even more. It didn't work this well the other day, but maybe because he was still kind of cold. Uh, so yeah, it's working out okay, good enough. So yeah, you get some decent range out of that diaphragm joint. I like that. All right, for the hips, we do have our standard ball sockets. So just like the old, old Ninja Turtle figures, that's kind of what these guys have. You get good range out of them. Go out to the side pretty far. Going forward, of course, is limited due to his crotch shape, but decent enough range. There is no thigh swivel, but you get range around there. Is there a thigh swivel? I thought there was, let me see. Doesn't wanna go. It looks like there is a thigh swivel here at, at the top of the strap, but I can't get either one to move. Hmm. I think it might be glued. Not sure. Consider it that there isn't based on what I can get to function, but there might actually be. It is a separate piece here. So I can't say for sure, but you get lots of range out of that peg anyway. So the knee is just a basic single jointed knee, which works to get about 90 degrees and it does look pretty good. So I like that. There is no boot swivel. The ankles go, let's see. Oh, it's very, very, very tight. Let's see here. So yeah, I can't get the ankles to go any farther than that. They technically look like they can, but I can't get it to go any farther. Going forward, you get a little bit more range and you get a solid ankle rocker. So that's pretty good. I'll take that. Now, as far as the wings back here, you do get rotation, not a ton but you do get some and you get your hinge. So that's pretty good. So yeah, it's like, as usual, these guys aren't meant for like the craziest poses, but it's definitely gonna be good enough. And he's probably better than most in at least a few regards. So I'll give these guys an articulation rating overall of seven out of 10 for what they are. They're pretty darn good. You know what? I don't think I mentioned, I'm pretty sure this guy rotates at the waist. Yeah, he does. I don't think I mentioned that. It's technically a ball peg. You're not gonna get much out of it but the rotation. But yeah, good batch of articulation. I'm happy with these guys. So aesthetics good, 
Accessories are good. Articulation is good. This is one of NECA's strongest releases for this line. I'm going to give it an over, overall rating of 9.5 out of 10. Very, very pleased with this. The more NECA releases, the more I want to buy these things. They're doing better and better jobs almost with every release, it seems. So very happy with that, and I think you guys will be too. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.